Hello friends, it's your old mate, Uncle Nico, back again. And today we're gonna tear down the Dream Station, go and take the stinky old toxic foam out. Let's do it. To start with, we need to take off the two side plates. Really simple, you just grip it and rip it. Oh, you could have your Wheaties about you. Sometimes helps if you can sort of just get your, your fingernails in a bit at the back there. Pull it off and this will expose the screws. Now, those of you who have seen many of my videos, you'll know that I like to use this little kit, link in the description below. And the one I'm always missing is this one here, the TR10 piece, but I'm gonna use the TR9, which also works. All right, so I'm just gonna take out the screws one at a time. Okay, so once we've got the four screws out, we can take off the lid, but just be a little bit gentle when you're taking off the lid because it is attached. So you just sort of want to peel it over to the side like this. You don't want to tear these parts, these ribbons, because if you tear them, your screen's not going to work. And what you want to do is you just want to flip up. There's a little latch there, you can see it there. It just flips back, back towards you, flip it up, and then this one, flip it up, and then it'll just pop out, okay? See there, I'll just give you a bit of a look. All right, so they just slot back in. I'll show you when I put it back together again. We're gonna take off the PCB board, and there's just three screws, one, two, and three. So we'll just, once we have taken those three screws out, we can pick up the circuit board, and then there's two parts where it's attached. So you just sort of pick it up a bit, like so. And the first part is this part. Try and pull from the white part here. So this sort of pulls that way. And then you can swing it around here. And on the back here as well, if I just lift it up here, you'll see this one here on the side here. And it's just got a little clip. So you just sort of push your thumb in at the bottom here. And then you'll just sort of give it a little wiggle and it'll just unclip. So wiggle, 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 wiggle. There you go. There's your little circuit board, just put that to the side as well. Now the foam itself is in this little section here. So we need to take out the turbine casing, this is the turbine casing here. But to get to the turbine casing, unfortunately there's just this tiny little part here. So we actually need to take off this section as well. Alright, and these are the larger screws, so we'll take them off. Four, so there are your four big screws. And now this, this top of the casing here should just come off pretty easy. This pulls off. So now once we've got that out, we can pull out this casing part. All right, now to take the turbine casing out, we need to remove a few more screws. One, two, and three. These are quite long screws again. So I'll just We need to just remove this little plastic part. So this sort of pulls off. It's easy to put back on. But I remove it because it makes it a bit easy to pull out the casing. So what we do now is we can sort of get our thumb in and it's sort of you sort of lift up, lift up like that, and then sort of pull it out. Like so. Alright, so you can just put that over the side for now. So here's our turbine casing. The little turbine sits inside here, so if you take that little screw out, you can see, I might as well just show you. While you're here, you've got your little, oh, you've got a few little clips on the side here. Just, just little clips that hold the turbine casing on, but if you take that off there, you'll be able to see. There's your little turbine, that's your fan. So the foam. The foam is just in this tiny little section. All right, there's not much, you'll be able to see it. There you go, you can see the foam inside. Just a tiny little bit of foam there. It's not gonna change the volume too much. And you can see it in there. Can you see the foam in there? So to access the foam, I'm just gonna use the drain weasel method. You could probably just get some Tweezers maybe you can pull it out, I don't know, but I'm just going to show you the way that I do it. So to do this, you just got to drill here, just on the low speed setting, 
And this here is what's called a drain weasel. It's got little tiny hooks on the end. You can thread it in and then you just, oh, I'm gonna need a battery. Hang on, I'll just go grab my battery. Whoopsie. Now you could probably make it a little bit smaller than this, to be honest. This is the one I use for the standard dream station and the chamber's a lot longer. So I might even just make it a little bit smaller. Give me a second. There. Through this here. Now you just sort of put it in. Here we go. There it is. That, my friends, is the foam. And it's sticky. It started to degrade. And then what you can do, you can see there's a few little bits in there, but you can just sort of get your blower and just blow that out. Get this on first. So you just got to line up that hole there on top of the other hole. That's probably some sort of pressure sensor hole, I imagine. It just sort of wiggles, wiggles back on. It's got little grooves. You can see little grooves there on the side where it sort of goes on to as well. Some little grooves cutouts. Um, sort of have that sort of standard there. And then you can kind of put this back into place. So it sort of feeds in at the back first. There you go. So just sort of, just work it around a little bit and then you can sort of just push that part on as well. Just make sure it's on right around the whole thing. All right, and once you've got that on, you're nearly home and hose. It's just about putting the screws back together and the PCB back, board back on. All right, the three screws done. Now we'll just put the the little lid back on here again. And now we can put the board back on. So we just swing it around here and see how it sort of goes on here. Pressure's in. Do that one first. And then the, this one here, it's a little bit, a little bit fiddly like I said, but you can sort of give it a bit of a, just sort of pull it up a little bit. Sort of get your, your thumb and finger just underneath it there. And then just sort of push down. And you'll see it just clip on over the top there. And then you can just fit it down. And now we're just gonna put the little screws back in Hold down the PCB board. Now we can connect back up the screen. So we've got the two little latches open just here. You can see there, I'll just hold them up. So, so these are the little, the little latches. So they just pop up and pop, pop open. And you can see here with the little ribbons, there's these tiny little parts on the side. And they sort of need to go Sort of see the little cutouts, and there's a little thing blocking. See, there's just little cutouts on the side there with those little ridges. They just sort of fit in, and then you can fold it down. So basically, what you want to do is, I'll see if I can do it like this. But just get one in first. Okay, there's one in. There we go. Boom. Okay, they're both in now. Both in. Just be gentle, fold it down like so. Put back in the four screws. with it at the end of the day, but it's no longer going to be toxic. It might be a tiny little bit noisier, but it's not going to be that much noisier. 
good to go. Let's give it a bit of a check. Yeah, it's good to go. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's been a long year for everyone. So make sure you have a wonderful Christmas and I'll see you again in 2022. Bye for now.